Hi there, my love. This is Jenna here. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, a kitchen staple, at least uh, for us uh, so Southern Americans. Today, I brought the best recipe ever for a dulce de leche and the fastest as well. Okay, so follow me and I will show how I put it together. So first, we're going to start by hydrating some oats, any type of oats, okay? Now, if you want to speed up the process and make them uh, softer, faster, you can add the um, boiling water. You boil the water and then you drop it and then you pour it and then you wait until it's cold enough so you can handle it, okay? Because then you're going to have to squeeze it, okay? Or you can uh, leave them, put the water, like a room temperature water, and then cover and then put it in the fridge and leave it overnight or for at least eight hours. So whatever you choose. oats are softened enough we're going to put them in a cheesecloth or a tea towel whatever you prefer I prefer cheesecloth because uh, it's a little bit easier to handle and you're going to squeeze it as much as you can we only want this milk this thick milk from the oats but don't throw away the soaked oats okay you can make a lot of things with it cakes you can uh, put it in smoothies you can make uh, cookies you can make muffins I mean whatever uh, even uh, frittatas you can make that so don't throw it away, okay? If you're not gonna use it, just free freeze them. Freeze them and it's okay. Put them, freeze them in an ice cube tray so you have a, a portion. So you can wanna, if you wanna put it in your in your uh, smoothie, fine. So do that. Don't throw it away. And now we're going to transfer this to a stove and we're going to add coconut sugar. I have tested with all types of sugar you can imagine. The best result so far is the coconut sugar because it's the tastiest because sugar is not only is not only for sweetening things you also have the complexity of the flavors but in this case the coconut sugar is perfect now if you want to use a sweetener you can but bear in mind that the color is going to change okay it's not going to be dark as it's supposed to be this beautiful color this beautiful caramel color that it's supposed to be and you keep stirring until you see this consistency. Bear in mind that it's going to uh, thicken up as you put it in the fridge, okay? And uh, so if you wanna, if you want it a little bit runnier, then uh, you turn off the heat uh, earlier. But I like, <laughs> like a proper dulce de leche, thick and beautiful and golden and sweet and happy, because this is happy food, isn't it? So good. Mm. So good. So good. <laughs> if you want, I can make you a banoffee. And let me know in the comments below. You want me to make one? I'll make one for you. So this is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, if you make it, please take pictures and tag me and show me on Instagram on Facebook. I love, love, love when you guys um, put your um, spin on my recipes and add your touch and modify according to it to your taste this one here there's not much room for improving or improvisation <laughs> improving definitely not. not oh speaking of improving i was forgetting something see that's why i always tell you guys to watch the videos until the end because it's important i added a pinch of salt because the salt will uh, wake up all the flavors, will lift all the flavors. A pinch of salt, okay? Otherwise, the two flavors are going to fight. It's going to be a mess in your taste buds. It's not going to be good. So do it, okay? And let me know how much you love it. So you're going to be part of the Dulce de Leche Lovers Club, like I am. Okay, I will see you next time. 
thumbs up for this video subscribe to my channel ring the bell ring my bell because it's important so you get notified full recipe on my website over here as well and i'll see you next time have a fabulous week bye bye